Hey everybody, um, we are on our first video. We're going to call this Vid01. Okay? Uh, home electrical systems. Home electrical systems. To sum it up, everything in your house operates off of two voltages. We're going to be dealing with 110 volts AC and 220 volts AC. The two voltages are most are common, and 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 again, I'm talking. This is America. Um, when you get in the European countries, other countries, they deal with uh, 240 volt AC at 50 hertz. Okay, we're dealing with 60 hertz here. Okay, you don't have to worry about the hertz. That's really for the purposes of this video has really nothing that you need to, to, to understand uh, right now. Maybe we can get into that in the future. But the two systems we're going to talk about is, is 110 volts and 220. Everything in your house that you plug into and your lights are 110 volts. Okay, so... <clears throat> okay, so 110 volts AC. We have lights and we have plugs. Um, other things that uh, operate off of 110 uh, are going to be your, um, uh, your, 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 your microwave, your refrigerator, um, your dishwasher, th things that you may not see where they plug into. Again, this is the basic video, so if you've already know this stuff, uh, this is uh, uh, beyond what some of you are, are uh, or need to know, so just uh, skip forward to some of the other advanced videos. Uh, but right now, okay, so we, we're talking about um, 110 volts AC, and the uh, you, they might, if you hear somebody refer to it as 120 volts, uh, it means the same thing. It's just, I was raised up 110, 115, you might hear it called 115 volt, um, you know, it, it's, it's all the same, uh, 115 plus or minus 10% is typically what you're, what you look for. So, uh, plus or minus 10%, that's going to, uh, um, that's, that's going to fill in all the gaps on all of this stuff. Okay. To start out the, uh, the, the first video, we need to understand that electricity is dangerous. You can't see electrons, so assume everything's hot all the time. Everything is always hot, okay? Um, one thing that we need to understand, too, is that electricity flows kind of like water. So if you have your garden, your, your garden hose, okay, and you hook your garden hose to it, and you run it, say, 300 feet, your garden, say, way out in the backyard. You're going to get very low pressure. Okay? Low pressure out of the other end of that hose because there's so much resistance that, that you have, it has to push. The water pressure only has so much potential energy. So the, uh, the smaller the garden hose, so size makes a difference. Uh, they say size doesn't matter, but it does. The, the bigger the hose, the less the resistance, the more water you can get, but the pressure is still low. When it comes to uh, smaller size, uh, both, both your flow or your, uh, the, the flow and the uh, pressure is going to be really low. doesn't matter. The, the further you go with this, the, the lower the pressure. If you don't believe me, put all the garden hoses you have together and see what comes out the other end. Okay, one way to combat this is to, if you added a pressure tank, okay, and you incorporated it into the system, and, and, and please bear with me, you're going to say, well, what's water have to do with electricity? Well, for the average Joe, for the average person, this is a good, um, good way to understand it. So... <clears throat> If you turn this faucet on, and we also, let's say we have a garden, uh, uh, or not a garden, a, uh, a spray nozzle right here, okay? Which is, uh, we're going to, we're going to indicate that like you would see on a blueprint or a drawing. It's going to be 
a valve, okay? That's, that's, that's what a valve is going to look like on a drawing. We'll get into drawings and prints and all that eventually. Okay, so what we have is we open this. This fills with water, fills this up, and we have pressure in here. Let's say we have 60 PSI here, and we have 60 PSI here, okay? <clears throat> After this pressurizes, you will have the same amount of pressure here as you do here if you've got something to boost that pressure with. Okay, now when it comes to electricity, a capacitor will act the same way, and that's why I kind of wanted to show this. Um, if it, <clears throat> This all directly relates to electricity. Just think the water flow is kind of like electrons. You can see water, and you can play around with it and, and experiment with it, but you can't see electrons. So, Okay, so hopefully that makes sense. Now, let's say we have the same water spigot, okay? and we only have a 25 foot hose on it, okay? You're pretty much gonna get max the same amount of pressure here as you are here, just because it's such a short run. The same thing happens in electrical. If you plug your plug, your, say you have a, an outdoor leaf blower, it's electric leaf blower, okay? You plug it right into the wall, okay? You plug it right into that wall, it's gonna, it's gonna run fine, just like normal. And the amp draw is going to be what it's rated at. Uh, amp draw might be, I don't know, 3 amps, okay? But if you plugged 300 feet of cord in here, and then you ran your leaf blower out at the other end, the amp draw is going to increase because it has to work so much harder. The, potent the energy you get out of your leaf blower is going to be less because there's less basically electrons flowing because it has to fight this 300 feet of cord that you've plugged into it. It's a quick way to burn up your whatever you've plugged into it. So you'll want to run heavy gauges. Uh, just a side note, most extension cords are going to be 14, 12, and what is ideal for longer runs is 10 gauge wire. But typically when you go to Home Depot or Lowe's and you find that really good deal, this is what you're going to be finding on your um, on your extension cord. We'll get into another video on that later too. Um, but uh, this is ideal, the best cord you can get. Okay. All right. I think that's pretty much going to cover it on this video. Uh, we basically related uh, um, electricity, homes, electricals, like uh, like plumbing and and water. So um, let's go ahead and end this video, and uh, we'll catch you up on the.